OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use the trim function. Now, why would you use the trim function? Well, it's where you have data that has superfluous spaces in it. So for example, if I look at this product code here, you can see that I have a trailing space, a leading space. And if I look in this product code here, I have a trailing space and I have more than one space between characters. Now this can be problematic if you're trying to cross-reference or match product codes with another list. For example, if you're using something like a XLOOKUP or a VLOOKUP to return the unit price, like I am here. Now I can tell there's a problem because I've got all these NA errors. So how do I get rid of these spaces apart from having to do it manually, which would take some time to do? Well, the trim function is definitely part of the solution here. So if I use trim in the next available column, all I have to do is reference the text that I want to get rid of the superfluous spaces in. So I close the bracket and press enter. Now you can see what it's done here. It's got rid of the leading space. It would have also got rid of the trailing space, although you obviously can't see that here. Now if I copy this down by double clicking on this little green square, you can see it also gets rid of more than one space between characters. So now in my X lookup, instead of looking up column D, I could look up column E, and I should get rid of at least some of these errors. It does that, but I still have a problem with this particular product code. Now, if trim doesn't solve your problem, it's because trim only gets rid of spaces that have been entered via the keyboard. Other spaces might have been copied from Word documents or web pages, and they're not spaces that are entered via the keyboard. They're other non-printing characters. So how do I get rid of them? Well, what you use in conjunction with the trim function is the clean function. So as well as trimming, you need to clean. So all I do is I put the result of the trim formula within the clean formula. Copy this down and you can see it gets rid of all the errors over here in column G. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.